<clears throat> now I now that I really see more clearly. I realize that that we're just playing with our lives when we choose to do something that might seem like a good idea at the moment, right? But the more we the more we uh, keep on doing certain things the more we keep doing certain things that's opposite or not exactly what we're really into the more we're just spending time doing things that are just stealing our time really I know that in a way it seems like it's good but you have to <clears throat> make quality time for things that you know is the most important for you. Because time, you never get back the time that we had. Time is always like, you know, we're always moving and time is always changing time is always changing Like, if I would like to have a car, I have to figure out a way to get that car as soon as possible. <clears throat> but you also gotta keep in mind that there is a step-by-step um, -step process if you wanna Make sure that everything falls into place like dominoes. Because if you do one thing before you do another, it could make the whole thing not really work correctly. the order of things does matter to an extent the order of things does matter
You just gotta make sure, make sure that things are in order, you know? So that everything is in place at the right time. Yeah, because it makes no sense getting a car when you know that you live in a in an apartment building and there's you know you know like the parking um rules like you have to shift parking from left to the right and stuff like because then it's like, if you do that, right, that's something that you are going to have to deal with if you get a car when you're in an apartment building, right? So if you really want things to be in order, like you, if everything is just a set of choices you make, if you want things to be in order, you have to make sure you have the house <clears throat> for your car with a garage. If you want to make sure that your children have something or have a, a healthy environment to live in, you have to make sure that you have a house that's in order. Having a house that's in order <sighs> means having everything, having a rooms for each, you know, rooms for each person to. You know, it, at first, it makes sense to just have extra guest rooms for, let's say, your family to come over, you know? And then, and then it makes sense to have office space so that you can work on your business. And you have to f find out how to make certain things, how to build certain things, how to put things in your place. Not everybody is taught how to do that because what people usually talk about is like, oh, get a go to a job fair so that you could get a job, so that you could get a the highest paying job or like more hours so that you could get more money so that you could pay for your rent and your car note and your insurance to do it all over again and again and again and again and again. But that's just one way and that's just one lifestyle. That lifestyle is not for everyone. Like for me, I would like to travel. I would like to see many different places, skate at different places, record the whole experience, do photography. So it's just, I have a different thing that I'm into. So because I'm into something different, that means that I have I have to 
take steps to make that happen. And in a way, I may not be able to get, you know, because the way that society is set up is like, in order to even have a place to, to stay, you can either stay okay with your family, with your parents, if they have a place already set up for you, or you have to find a way to make money to pay rent, to stay at your own place, or you have to get assistance to have a place. So, there's, or you have to choose to have roommates and split the cost of the rent between all the roommates. See, there's many different um, paths that you could take to do certain things, but me being the fact, me being the type of person that likes to have my own space, I know what it is that I'm intolerant to. Like I'm, I don't tolerate you know having too many people around me because it sort of takes me out of my element you know because then it's like because I'm super you know I feel everything I have like sensory extra extra sensory perception or extrasensory, you know, it's like I could feel things more and I don't have like to have to be around others because I could literally feel everything. I could feel what they'd be thinking about. I could feel their energy. Like if they're a very a very um anxious person I could feel that if they're very you know like quick or like always rushing I could feel that you know I could I could feel the different energies and and those energies affect me because then it makes me feel sort of uncomfortable because my focus then is like on them because I'm a very receptive type of person I'm quiet so it's like I could like I'm not the one that's the one that's acting or like being loud or something like that I'm the quiet one so it's like I'm always listening and being receptive to my environment so That's how I know that what is not really helpful for me. And that's the reason why it's like, it's so important to take steps toward what you des desire. You know, these people talk about desire like it's something that you have to like not have but it's like dude if I feel these things of course I'm gonna have a desire to do something about the whole situation to make it better because if I just you know stay in a situation that feels uncomfortable or just doesn't feel right to me and it's draining my energy, that is not smart to deal with because I'm I'm basically keeping myself in a hell, in a hell state rather than a heaven state. And that's it's not something that that we should be wasting time on. And that's the reason why it's so important to just know that every time you choose to do something and it's not really what you're into or what you want to do 
that's taking time away from what you actually want to do in a way. But you have to, at the same time, just be grateful at the same time that you have opportunities too. But it's like, you just got to make sure that you're always working toward what it is you would like. And I know, sort of, you, we can't rush the process. But we can at least just make sure that we take responsibility for every move every decision that we make. So. I'm taking the time right now to make a video because it's better than nothing, right? It's just part of being creative. part of being creative and I like I don't even know if, if these videos are ever going to even be you know seen or anything like I don't really know and I probably shouldn't care about that because at the end of the day it's for my records it's for my memories that I know what I've been through and how I got through stuff and and how you know just the things the thoughts that I've thought about and all that oh. Like I really do feel like traveling more and I have to figure out how I can do that and I, I know how to do it it's all coming together all of it it's it's like a it's a puzzle it's many pieces to it you know And you have to have faith, too. It's interesting. But it's like another thing is we never know unless we try. So even if you don't know something, at least try it. At least try stuff. That way you can find out <laughs> what to do. Because I've already learned a lot of things by doing that. By doing that, I've learned a lot of things. Like if you just look online and and try different things that you that you that you heard or that you know there's a there's like something that can help you right try it right and then see what where it leads and if it leads somewhere you can always dissolve the whole thing or you can always be like, this is not what I, you know, you can always have a reason to stop something and just, and just leave it as it were, was. So, like the best thing to do is just try things and see where they lead. Because that's the quickest way to learn. And, and it's not like you're committing a crime by trying things. 
you're not committing a crime. And that's the reason why it's like, you have every right to try everything. Try things, see where they lead. Life is too precious to just stay stagnant just because you don't know what move to make. <laughs> you just got to keep on making the moves. And I'm getting so much better. It's like, I, like the fact that I tried something new made me realize that I had to research more about something. And because I started researching more about that, that led me to understand or understand the whole thing more fully, which now leads me to make a better decision. And that's how I know that everything is going everything is working out just because of me trying and taking the next step towards something. You know, there's the business world or the world of commerce, and then there's the private world. And you can separate the two. That way, anything commerce related or business related stays in your business. And, and anything personal related stays with the personal side, you know or the private side. And there's many different ways to handle everything. And everything is made up of contracts and just your, you know, everything that you say or command to be, that's what enforces everything. So, It's it's not it's not all the way hard. It's not difficult. It's not it could be challenging, but it's just a matter of just trying and taking the next step. 